So, um, I'm not very good at uploading regularly, it appears, since I haven't done it in about six months or so. But, you know, um, I was uninterested in space in the so I've had a break, I've played other games, so now I'm slightly back in it. I have ships in the pipeline, I have actually quite a lot of ships. I have once been in the pipeline for at least a year. But um you know I'll I'll get to those eventually someday. <coughs> Anyways, uh now I have been quite in love with my dagger series of interceptors. Um and you know I I wanted a carrier ship, you know, for carrying these, so I came up with this, the Claymore. Uh naming reason, first of all, it spits out tiny lots of little things like a clear wall mine and also it's called a dagger the other ship the interceptor a dagger all right and this is just bigger so claymore is a type of sword hmm see this blade theme <coughs> going on so this is a uh, light carrier meant specifically for carrying the dagger ship you can see it has a nice front section here which is actually Actually, yeah, I could have made, made these ships a lot more compact, just cut it off there, there we go, a lot more compact, but, you know, it's, and so, that goes to wings, actually, they're pretty much useless, however, they do add quite a lot of style, but this whole front section here is all for, you know, I have a nice, slick slope, I'm very happy with the front, that's what I started with, and then there's, the hang, I'll show that later, um, there's enough of thrusters, this thing can't go into atmospheres, uh, however, it does have everything else you need. It has a med bay, it has a jump drive, it has reactors, reserve batteries. Um, it has a fairly nice engine cowling over here, so you know you have some quite defended uh, thrusters, which is something I usually don't have. Um, now, this ship doesn't have any turrets whatsoever because uh, the conveyor systems would have been very janky at best um, and besides carriers are not meant to be in the thick of it they're supposed to be uh, you know behind slightly behind your front line so that you can send out small ships to strike at your people uh, much further now let me just show you something uh, I have a long list of ships there now um, I did actually make a change from the dagger video to now uh, the dagger uh, the Dagger Mark II-E, or the Exterminator, I decided that that's not really a retrofit of the Mark II, it's just an upgrade, straight upgrade. So I decided to name it the Mark III. The Mark E is now the civilian version, instead of being called the Mark F. Now anyways, uh, Mark C, the ones that's supposed to be used in carriers, here it is. And, you know, you can, uh, you, can you see it's it, it's it's supposed to hold these ships. These little, uh, this is light bomber configuration on this one. So you know you have some light bombers, which you can fit in here. Now, just I'll give you a minute to guess how many of these ships can I fit into here, right? You know, let me just show you the, uh, the hangar actually, and something I'm really happy with. You know, I have some nice lighting here um, for the outside area. And then you have these staircases down the side here. Oh, with buttons! You can sit down here and control it. I've, you know, I have some extra space, so I thought I'd fit that in. I don't do that. Uh, now, you enter here. This is the hangar. Now, yes. How many of... Wait, hold on. Let me just actually bring it into the hangar. How many of these ships do you think I can have? In? How many of these ships, right? You can fit in the length in one of these spaces, right? Okay. How many? I have marking the roof, yeah, maybe you spotted that. Alright then, so, uh, one, two, three in length, times two, that's six. Alright then, six of these ships, you know, that's pretty good, Con you know, thinking of the size that is with a jump drive and reactor power and everything, yeah, that's that's pretty good size, right? Well, you can't hold six, you can hold more, because they used to walls as well. So we can hold twelve of these little ships. 12 top-notch light bombers slash interceptors if you wanted to be had. So, 
Think about that. Uh, Twelve slight light bombers in a single light carrier. I think that's. It's all just um, coincidence as well that I managed to fit them in. I mean, I designed this and then I thought, oh, I don't know, Dagger would fit quite nicely in here. And I packed it in and I just added more and more ships until I could fit uh, 12 of them in here. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, I was going, like, ah, I must see, let's do it. Thrust the difference from side to side. There we go. Ow. Strange, sorry, just looked at the patterns there. Never mind, okay, so you you know you have the hanger right here. Nice nice right, you know this is the front. Now there is another play way of getting in at the top, so yeah, it's quite nice, you know. And then you get to the back here, which is a small room and there's some there's a conveyor there. If you want to uh convey some stuff. You know, you could add more stuff uh, and slight note, if you do store ships in here, you know there's no connectors, there wasn't any room for it, so you will have to do uh, a lot manually to put it in. Now, uh, here we go, there's a nice airlock. Not automatic, because I can't figure that out. Uh, and here we go, you get back into a main room, a hallway, with medbay and the gravity generator. Right, this is nice availability, you know, I have the staircase there, and then what are these rooms? These are for the engine compartment. Now, um, there's no lights in here, so you'll have to use... Now you can reach the gyroscopes, there are two others at the other side, and then you have the jump drive. Uh, if you wish to do maintenance on the uh, reactors, uh, they are through these panels here. Uh, which is how the connector works, because that's... I think that's literally all the cargo in the ship. I don't know put an oxygen generator on this. I really do hope I put an oxygen generator on this thing. Anyways! So you have this nice staircase going up here, you know, some nice mood lighting in here, but uh, that is a bit brighter. Alright, then let's see what's up here. Oh, blinding light. Oh, oh it's the cockpit! Right, this, um... I'm yeah, quite pleased with this, and I'm very pleased that I had, they added these blocks, because... Oh, it's so nice, these half blocks, you know, for space. <coughs> now, you know, you have a uh, front cockpit, you know, you can see... So much from here, you can't see directly above you, you know, you need some defense, you know. Um, originally when I built this, I uh, had a different style of cockpit, which didn't look good at all, so I changed it. I also changed some other few things, and then I was quite happy with the ship. So, you know, you have this cockpit here, which is, you know, quite nicely constructed, you know, with some... It's armored from the top, at the very least, so, you know, you have some, some top armor, you know, something else than just glass, you know. You have good visibility there, you have a few control stations there, so if you want, for example, to have uh, drone interceptors put in today, because I do have the drone ship, you know, you could park drones down there, and you, can, you know, you could have these two stations here for drone control, if you want to do that. Now, there's also this nice back area here, which is, you know, you could stand up here to observe if you really wanted to, um, or you could exit out the back. Oh, was this an airlock? Oh, look, look. Because um, going through, first opening the hangar doors, then flying through the middle of 12 ships in the hangar, uh, then going into a second room through an airlock, then up a staircase just to get to the cockpit. It's, it's bloody annoying, so I added a nice little uh, exit and en enter an exit point through the back. So that's. Um, Yes, that's the gist of this ship. Let's just see, how's the time on? Not sure, it doesn't show the time. Alright, good. Recording software. I mean, orbit around Mars, yeah? So, let's see uh, just what this ship can do. Let me just delete this one first. Uh, there we go. So, you know, it's a, it's a pretty nice ship, if I do say so myself. I'm quite pleased with it. Um, there we go. Now we are in control of it. Now I can show you its acceleration. Let's see, yeah. I will count from... I will count its speed 0 to 100 meters per second. I forgot to count. Let's do that again! <laughs> I forgot to count! Hmm. Okay, you, know, you can see that 
oh, it really has problems slowing down when it's, you know, there's just three small thrusters going forwards. There's one in the front, and the, that's something I always have problems with when I'm designing ships. Um, the stop it, the braking power is something I always have problems with. Now, as well with large ship, my large ship standards, I do have green and red lights placed on the right side. I googled it just to be sure. Let's try acceleration one more time and let's count this time. Nine seconds. Alright, that's the that's same acceleration as the Dagon Mark 1. Okay, that's slightly interesting actually. Uh, but you know, you see the maneuverability on this thing is pretty decent for a large ship. And when it, you know, factoring in it's a large ship, uh, it, well, it is quite light as well, so, you know, of course it's going to be quite mobile with its, with its light design. Now you can also see that it's, it's quite nice having some lights at the front there, you know, you can... Um, hold on a second, let's just find the hangar doors, close those. And then you can just see the uh, how nice it looks with uh, you know the dark darkness. You know you can see some lighting coming through there. You can see the light at the back of the engines. I did actually add in some uh, blue lights there to just emit some gl more glow to it. And, you know you can see the front there. You know it's nice to have a, just a little bit of lighting there. You know, um the cockpit there is quite dark, but you know you don't want to disturb the night side, of course. Yes, and you have a little bit of light from here, which looks quite nice, I think. Um, I think that's just about it in the ship. Uh, or, you know, you know what I can test? You know, just one more thing to test. You know, I usually test the ship's firepower. How is this character? Did I go down here? Uh, you know, I usually test the ship's uh, firepower and events. But this thing is a carrier, which means that the logical thing would be to shoot at it the ships we were most likely uh, encountering. Which would be bombers! Yes, you'd send counter bombing. So, um. You know, let's, let's test my own light bomber! Hmm. Yes, yeah, so let's just take this thing! There we go. Now we have the dagger, the very thing it's supposed to launch. Let's see how well it holds up. Let's see. Uh, fire! I hit dead, knocks out uh, maneuvering thrusters. I hit there. Oh, armor, armor actually works quite well, you know. Rockets aren't that powerful anymore. You know, but I am hitting it with four rocket launchers there. Making some serious things. I mean, it's. Um, I'm working out in the same mode. But look, there's even the wing is can take a pound again. Well. There we go. Uh, now, what happens if I get it directly on the cockpit? Let's see. Uh, Glass breaks, uh, but you can still fly the thing. You know, so you oh, this top arm here really serves the purpose. You know, you get the top attacks. You know, you'd have to attack it from the side in order to actually get direct hits on the glass. The top armor. Also, engine compartments. You, know, you can shoot slightly, but you know, it's, it's difficult. There we go. Now you can see roughly how much you can. Punishment it can take. Now, as it's as it burns gloriously through the night, um, I wish you a still happy Christmas and uh, a happy New Year as well. Thank you, gentlemen.